today I have a New Year's Eve makeup look for you and I was really excited to do this because New Year's Eve is probably my favorite holiday for makeup because you just kind of get to be sparkly and glittery and really kind of extravagant and it's just an you can pretty much you have no limits on New Year's Eve I want to say and this look that I have for you today is actually kind of a cool one and I'm really proud of the combination of colors and the look that I came up with today because I feel like it's a little it's kind of unique uh, what I did was I just put like a silver with kind of a black in the cr in the outer corner and a reddish rusty color in the crease so it kind of created like a warm silver combo and it actually turned out way better than I expected it to so I'm really stoked about it and if you want to see how I created this look then just keep watching. Okay so to start off with I'm just going to uh, prime my eyes with the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tough as Taupe. I'm not going to use very much of this because I don't want the color to be really that contrasted. I just want to, of course, prime my eyes so the color stays put all night. And I just want there to be kind of a darker base than my eyelids um, give off on their own. Now this next color may seem kind of weird, but I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush 892. And I'm going to be putting this in my crease. Now, this is a warm shadow, and it is shimmery, so it's definitely kind of weird to be placing in the crease. But just go with me here. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my blending brush and blend it um, into the crease further. It's going to get kind of weirder. I'm going to be putting in this NYX shadow in ES15 Rust into the crease as well over top of that amber rush color and I'm just going to be placing that in and then blending that out with my blending brush. Okay now the star of the show I'm using this L'Oreal Hip uh, Metallic Shadow Duo in Platinum and I'm going to be using the silver color. I've been using this duo for years. This is the most amazing silver shadow that you will ever find and I'm just going to pat this over top of the toe not worrying about blending just yet just kind of getting the color down and then we'll worry about blending it in a little bit okay now what I'm going to do is take the black color in that duo and tap it tap my blending brush really lightly in it tap off as much excess as possible and taking that tiny bit of black just kind of using that to blend together that rust shade and the silver shade. Okay, now the key step in this process, I'm taking just a little brush that I've had forever from Sephora and I'm gonna spray it with Max Fix Plus or any other kind of, I guess, cosmetic spray would work. I mean, even water would work. And I'm going to dip that brush into the silver color and I'm going to layer that over top of where we put it before. This is just going to make it extremely metallic and very, very intense, as you can see right here. This look is kind of all about layering, so what we're going to do now is go back through with our blending brush and bring in some color back into our crease. This can kind of be any of the colors that we use, but I'm personally going to be using that rust color, that NYX red rusty color. And I'm going to put that in one more time just to bring out that really nice red. And then after that, I'm going to take that black shade one more time on my blending brush, pack it all in, brush off the excess, and just swirl that into my outer crease, just like this to add some depth. Now just be careful when you are bringing this black in that you don't bring it too far into that silver because it will kind of diminish the really metallic finish that we just achieved you by using the Fix Plus or the other kind of spray that you may use. So just be careful not to bring that in really past kind of where your pupil is, keeping it on that outer edge of your eye. Okay, so now you can kind of see we created kind of a cool and a warm together, which usually doesn't really work, but I feel like this is like a really just cool combination of like the red, the silver, and then that black. And what is going to pull it all together is our eyeliner. I'm going to use my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. This is waterproof, so it'll stay on 
for a long time. It's got good longevity. I just recently got this, but I already know that I am in love with this and I'm going to definitely be repurchasing it. I know it's kind of pricey, but it's definitely worth it. I really just love how deep of a black it gives you and how pointy the tip is, so it really helps you get a perfect wing. So I'm just going to draw off of my the edge, edge of my eye like this and then connect that to my upper lash line. Okay, now that I have my eyeliner finished, I'm just going to curl my lashes really quickly and put on some mascara. Now since this is a look for the New Year kind of holiday, it is kind of more extravagant. You can kind of get away with being a little bit more extravagant. So you can put false lashes on if you would like to. I am not very good at applying them as much as I wish I was. Um, I'm not very good at it. Um, and also I have pretty long lashes so I don't necessarily need them for length or anything. It would just kind of be some extra drama. I'm just going to be putting on mascara. This is the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. And I'm all about layering mascara, so I'm going to actually put on the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara on top of that. And we're going to be neglecting the bottom lashes just for right now until we put all of our concealer and face stuff on. So first for under eyes, I'm going to put on my Maybelline Dream Lumi uh, Touch Concealer just on the darkest kind of parts of my under eyes. This is in the shade Radiant, so this is kind of the pinkier, dark, canceling out the purple tones shade. And then I'm going to blend that in with my ring finger. Okay, and then for the rest of my under eyes, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Treatment Concealer in number 10 Fair. And I'm gonna set that with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Sandstorm, just with my little cool Real techni Techniques setting brush. Okay, now that we've concealed our under eye area, we can go back and kind of put some shadow in and add a little bit more definition down there and our mascara. So I'm just taking that NYX Rust color and just a little eyeliner brush and putting that underneath. Then I'm going to go back with that Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. This is a double-ended mascara, so I already used the top lash part and I'm going to use the bottom lash part. Now, if you wouldn't be able to tell, it is finals week and my face is kind of wreaking havoc on me. So I'm going to use my CoverGirl True Conceal uh, concealer on those blemishes that I have. And this part of my face is actually lighter than the rest of my face because there's no freckles there, so I have to use a lighter concealer. The only concealer I can find is light enough is the Instant Age Rewind, so I'm going to be putting that on there. I've kind of just accepted the fact that I can't really conceal them all the way away and I'm content with that. I'm just going to pretty much just set them with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and hope for the best. Hopefully they go away quickly. Since we have such a dramatic eye, I'm going to go in with a kind of a natural blush shade, so I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in Pinched. And I'm so fair that concealers aren't really light enough for me, so they do kind of leave weird blotchy patches whenever I do put them anywhere on my face. So I kind of need to bronze my face up a little bit just to make those spots a little bit less noticeable since I am trying to conceal them and not bring attention to them. Oh, and I forgot to say, I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Stolil Bronzer in Milk Chocolate. And the last step that I have to do is my eyebrows. So I'm going to just take this Urban Decay Secret, uh, Secret Service Eyeshadow, just an eyeliner brush, and fill in my brows. I'm going to be one of those people that skips through the eyebrow part just because it's tedious and I already do have a video for that. So just like everybody else says, I'm going to have that in the description below if you do want to see how I do my eyebrows. Okay, there's your finished look. Now I'm going to kind of bring my hair down and get a little bit more accessorized, then I'll be right back. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any comments or questions or anything, as usual, just leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to all of you. 
um, any like information that I felt was kind of relevant, like any of the products that I used, any of the videos that I said I would link down below, anything that is relevant I put down in the description box below this video. And what else? Oh, and I want to thank all of you guys so much because the other day I hit 500 subscribers here on YouTube and that is kind of a small number but to me it is really big. It's a big milestone. I'm very, very, very happy about it and thank you guys so much for subscribing if you are a subscriber watching this right now. If you are not and you enjoyed this video then I would love it and I would give you a big virtual hug if you did subscribe to my channel or give this video a thumbs up, any of those things that everyone kind of asks for. Um, but yeah, it really just means a lot to me and I've only kind of been doing this video thing for just about a year now, so seeing like all the support that I have been getting just from like all the comments and of course all the subscribers, it's really kind of keeping me going and getting me excited about the new year. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video in the new year. Bye!